Find the domain of the given function. Write your answer in interval notation. First off, with a rational function like this, the domain is all about the denominator. I'm trying to highlight just the denominator. That didn't work too well. I think, there we go. Nope, still not. Anyway, just the denominator is all that's important. The numerator actually doesn't have anything to do with the factoring, sorry, with the d domain. So, looking at the x squared plus 6x plus 5, we want to find out when this is equal to 0 because these solutions are where the function is undefined. The domain will be everything except for the solutions to this equation. We can solve a polynomial equation by factoring. This is a simple one, x and x, 2 let's see, 5 and 1 makes 5, so 5 and 1, and if they're both positive, they will add up 5x plus x is 6x. So we get x equals negative 5 and negative 1. The interval notation, negative 5 and negative 1, we don't want negative 5 and we don't want negative 1. Those are the two values that divide by 0, but we want everything else. So we actually have three intervals that make up the domain. Combined together, that would be negative infinity to negative 5, soft bracket, don't use a hard bracket because then you've again divided by 0, union from negative 5 to negative 1, a union from negative 1 to infinity. All soft brackets because we don't want to divide by 0 and we can't include infinity. That is the interval notation. If you are asked for set builder notation, you can create the set. You can build it right around making that not equal to. That would be set builder or set notation, depending on what you're asked for. In this case, interval notation is great.